right in the middle of the Wop Wops, but not the Wop Wops, beautiful Cromble, beautiful Central Otago. So the calm before the storm, last race of the weekend. Can number 33 make it three in a row? Will 45 Matt Horn pick up a win? Who's going to stop the young gun? Red lights are on. Revs are up. Green light racing. They fan out along the start of the straight. And now they're going to be moving down towards the famous bus stop through the chicane. And once again, the three teammates side by side. Stewart, Horn, Baker, Bolt, Jackson, Brown. Oh, and we have one off in the background there. Straight away, safety cars breed safety cars. We've had the safety car all morning. First lap after lunch, and one of the cars has speared off into the gravel, but at the moment we are still racing. But for how long? We'll see how they go as they go through the S's. And hopefully the other driver can get going again. Leo Bolt looking set to mix up those uh, finishing positions that have been those three yellow and black RX-8s. He's on the back of Matt Horn there, but it looks like Simon Baker's just taking that place away from him as it looks like we're coming under safety car, so yeah, just redressing so that spot. He's going to have to give that back. So we did what? One corner, two corners, half a lap, and once again... Oh, it's Steve Brown, 88. Bad luck. It is a bugger because he certainly was one to mention that, um, yeah, feeling new to the class and doing quite a good job this weekend. So he'll be a little disappointed to be finding himself there on lap one and out of this race. Bit of a dark horse racing moment there as the Speedworks Hilux goes racing back out with the recovery crew and they've got to dig him out of the kitty litter. And once again, these guys will regather and get set for a restart. It's quite funny that we started with the safety car in the first race and then it went to the second race and went to the third race and it sort of carried on all day but we did get a big finish in the road and cars super gt race and we'll have to get rusty to try and find out exactly how fast liam lawson went in the uh, exhibition with the road and fz during the lunchtime break he did a 125.8 yesterday did he do a really fast lap again today Hot conditions, what are the drivers saying about the actual temperatures in the car? Are there many of these guys driving with cool suits? No, maybe a small portion of the field have got the refreshment of a cool suit in there, but no, they're doing it tough, good old fashioned um, race cars uh, out there experiencing the heat that they can feel in the cockpit there. But uh, testament to the drivers, yeah, uh, obviously having some pretty good racing, some pretty good lap times coming out of it considering the conditions. Well, I know that some of the drivers in the Ronan Car Super GT will be wearing cool suits as they get ready for the one-hour race with the compulsory pit stop. And I can tell you, just got the text through from uh, Caleb Nato. Good to see that Steve Brown's got going again, which is great. He can try and finish the first lap. A 123.7, so we were very close saying that uh, it looked like about a 123 that Liam Lawson was able to achieve in the Ronan FZ Formula One lookalike car. So that's the fastest lap ever around Highland Motorsport Park. So he's at the Highland Fling today. Highland's Motorsport Park for 123.7. So a little bit of history. Let's see what happened with the next end time as the racing series, as they swooped out of the bus stop, just clipped the curb, oh, just, and then bang. Sideways straight into a right turn when he should have been turning left. Yeah, a bit of a bottleneck there as they all come into that first turn of the uh, first lap of the race. So, unfortunately, he's come unstuck there. Just quite a few cars trying to squeeze through that bus stop chicane, one of them clipping the uh, the curb and then sending the car the other way. Easily done. Mm -hmm. But good to see him back out and racing and we'll regather and rejoin the rear of the field. So now all the other drivers will just circulate behind the Toyota Gazoo Racing Yaris, the safety car. Been a very, very busy morning for the driver of that car. Yeah. And it, chances are, it may be a busy afternoon. But let's see. So Ben Stewart, Matt Horn, Leo Bolt, Simon Baker, defending champion. Got all three title branches in there, the Nationals, the South Island, the North Island. Opening round of the Nationals this weekend. 
they'll continue to Ruapuna in Christchurch next weekend. 17 drivers coming out of the North Island, escaping, escaping from lockdown. <laughs> but unleashed yep. freedom. Find the first event on the calendar and they're here, so good on them. Puts on a spectacle for everyone watching. Oh, it's also a fantastic destination and a fantastic track and an attraction for the drivers and a challenge too, you know, and a challenge for all the race teams as well. So hopefully the safety car will be pulling off this lap if they're all cleaned up at that first corner and we'll be set to go racing again. So the lights are out in the safety car. Ben Stewart, the 16-year-old from Wellington, will control the restart. Matt Horn should be as close to him and try and not let him get away. Leo Bolt, they'll all try and bunch up Andrew Jackson because when this kid goes, he's gone. Which is a very, very, very exciting for the Mazda Racing Series to have so many experienced guys who have been there for three or four years, but that a young kid like this comes out of the blue and shows so much speed and potential. And we're racing. Down the main straight, Ben Stewart, he's gone straight away. Matt Horn trying to keep up. Leo Bolt, can we get through the bus stop cleanly this time and get through and around the southern loop and complete the first lap? Let's hope they can do it and they can keep going because we've still got eight laps to finish this race. Great shot. Great work by our camera crews enjoying the heat around the circuit here today. Matt Horn having a bit of a look at Leo Bolt. Oh no, that's Simon Baker having a look at Leo Bolt there. Leo just bringing it under brakes. Car buckling, twitchy. Got it under control. Ben Stewart, very smooth and fast out in front. Sometimes you look like you're going slow, but that means you're actually going fast. As Jackson sticks it down the inside of Baker around the carousel. Nice move, cleanly done. It's good racing. And it's taking a bit of pressure off Leo Bolt there. He'll be hoping to get his head down and tag on to the back of Matt Horn. Teammates. Leo Bolt and Andrew Jackson from Dark Horse Racing. Very, very experienced drivers, very fast. Here's a great shot of how wide and the opportunities to try and duck down the inside for the hairpin. But then if you go too wide, it's very tight on the opening when you come out towards the grass. But look at that, Ben Stewart straight away stretching out the speed of the RX-8 as they race up towards the bridge. Bounce over the bridge and down towards the lake. So we've got a good battle on our hands here, Matt Dodd who did have the run there, but then having to defend at that corner, he's actually lost a bit of time to the car in front. Number 15, Matt Dodd in the Magan Turbo RX-8, one of the South Island races. Yeah, fortunately, uh, unfortunately, Matt Dodd come unstuck in the last race there. Um, a fellow competitor going up the inside, just into that complex we just saw the cars go through and some power steer issues ultimately, um, not allowing the driver to turn in, gave him a bit of a tag and put him in the gravel. 85, Rex Edwards trying to make a move as they go round the main straight, down towards the bus stop. He goes round the outside. Can he get it done? Yes, he ducks and dives. I think Martin, Matt Todd decided, mate, you've got a bit of speed, I'll let you go. Don't want to don't get tangled up. Yeah, no, that was pretty courteous of Matt there. Obviously a high-speed complex, and that's a long championship, so still three events to run in this New Zealand championship for the next end time as the racing series. And Rex Edwards always had one moment already in the opening race when he tagged. Simon Baker, so he wants to be clean and fast. Here's the teammates, Leo Bolt, 98. Very nice looking car. Right behind him, Andrew Jackson. Thought about it, thinks about it. Goes one way, going to go right round. Now he's going to try and crisscross. Get him set up for the sting, which goes off camber. Get right behind and see what move where he pulls out down and towards the hairpin. Leo Bolt can go to the optimum racing line right out wide or decide to take a little bit more of a defensive line. No, he's just going to keep going as fast as he can and smooth as he can. So Andrew Jackson just slots him behind. Already out front, Ben Stewart looks like he's opening up a lead 0.9 seconds last time over 45 Matt Horn. Let's see what it is this time. Yeah, the lap time's dropping off a bit there from this morning's race. Ben Stewart, the first one to break into the 1 minute 50 mark, doing a 150.999. So that's the first time we've seen a next and time Mazda RX-8 break into that number here at Highlands. Unfortunately, perhaps the heat just playing an effect on the track surface today, and those numbers not quite the same in this race. So we settled that record in the, uh, the opening race, didn't we? Yes, yep, and he's continued to better that in each race 
of the weekend. So his best time in that previous race was? A 150.999. So, yeah, just screeching into that 1 minute 50 mark. Yeah, he's doing a 152.3 at the moment, the last lap. And that's his best time. He'll be struggling to actually better that, as you say, because of the heat. And we've got a, a moment coming around the reverse Indian number 67. Looked like he might have lost the gear, but then they're sweeping around the southern loop. Good racing around there. There's about four or five involved in the battle pack coming out of the southern loop. They're all ganging up on each other. Bolt, there's number 67 coming into the pits after an issue. Anthony Talk, Bolt, Jackson, Baker, Edwards. They've got a bit of uh, no love lost there between Baker and Rex Edwards. Had a moment in that opening race of the weekend when Rex came flying over the... the, the oh, and teammates having, a, having yeah. a very close call there. Flying over the bridge and just couldn't quite break, back it up, hit the brakes and then tag Simon Baker and sent him flying. Now it's Andrew Jackson and Leo Bolt sort of holding them up a little bit here. Andrew Jackson's going to have all the time in the world to try and get round as they go right out wide and Baker just loses it. Oh, Rex, Rex Edwards. Edwards ducks in and says thanks very much, goes wide on the grass. And that's going to give Simon the run, he'll probably take that position back. Yeah, so you lose it a bit wide at the hairpin but you can crisscross and come back in. Here they are, up and over the bridge. This time, right behind them, they'll be aware of that. Ben Stewart out in front, Leo Bolt, Jackson, Baker, Edwards. Good one make motor racing with the next entire Mazda Racing Series. Four laps gone. And we're back under racing, which is great. Hopefully we can stay racing and no more safety cars. Should be the last lap. Matt Horn not letting Ben Stewart get away this race. Just a shy two seconds off him at the moment, but those two have put five and a half seconds on the third place, Leo Bolt. Further back down the field, number 30 is Matt Stockton. These guys are having a good little scrap as well. Coming around, reverse Indy to uh, wrap up that battle pack down towards the rear of the field. Great thing about one make motor racing is that even if you're not the fastest out in front like these two, you can still have your own little wee battle at the rear of the field. Yeah, and as you can see, we've got the historic Mazda RX-7s out there, which are still competing. They were the uh, grassroots of this class from a uh, good 25 years ago. And um, obviously the evolution of the Mazda Rotary production cars, now the RX-8, a bit more modern and a bit more parts availability, but still great to see two RX-7 Series 1s out there competing making their way around, um, even hassling a couple of the RX-8s at the back of the field, so good on them. Have you, have you parked your uh, RX-7 up? Yes, I am one of a few people around the country that do indeed, yeah, they've still got these class cars parked away in sheds, and it'd be great to see the once great racing of the class uh, back out there again, and I'm sure we will see that as the historics run alongside these Mazda RX-8s. Final time up and over the bridge, the battle for third, Ben Stewart looks like he's got the race in the bag for that three in a row for the 16 year old from Wellington, Leo Bolt holding on to a place in the podium, being hounded by Jackson, Baker and Edwards. But around the start finish line. And another good performance by Ben Stewart. Still got a good lead, two laps to go in the eight lapper. Things seem to have settled down here. Leo Bolt still ahead of Andrew Jackson, Simon Baker in behind him, and Rex Edwards. So status quo at the moment. We'll see if they've just got something up their sleeve for these last couple of laps of the race and put on some excitement for the crowd. Got a 2.8 second lead. It was down to six laps, but it's actually eight laps. As Baker all around the rear of Jackson. Jackson holding on. Leo Bolt, Edwards is there. So this four-way scrap for third still continues with Leo Bolt. While Hunt, Matt, Matt Horn is still trying to hunt down Ben Stewart. He's still well and truly in control of the race and doing another superb job. Very smooth and fast. Leo Bolt will be loving this along with Andrew Jackson. Spent a lot of time actually brought the car out to Hampton Downs just 
prior to Christmas. Hi, mate. You Andrew and had to uh, straight away put some new motor on. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. These guys are always uh, working good, on their okay. cars. Yep, big influences of the class, Leo Bob. Oh, Leo's gone Andrew wide Jackson. around the hair foot and Jackson's grabbed the spot. Leo moves it over and just gets in the way Whoa. of Simon Baker. That's a bit of teamwork there. Look at that. Baker is trying to move out and Edwards goes around the outside. So Leo Bolt's lost second, almost lost third, and Baker's gone back two or three spots as Rex Edwards gets up and Baker comes down the inside now. Once again, they won't tangle. So Leo just got a little bit loose and Jackson pounced. How's that for close racing? And then they were Obviously almost not pole, giving each other a room because Leo was making it hard for Baker to try and get past. But that's good competitive racing, fair enough. And that's what this one mate racing offers, doesn't it? Nice close battles. Now we have the last lap forward. 2.6 seconds between first and second. Jackson though, clearly out in third. Leo Bolt holding on to fourth. Baker once again under pressure from Rex Edwards try and wreck his afternoon without wrecking the car. As so we come back to the leaders here, Ben Stewart out front. Now Matt Horn just in the background there. So that lead two and a half seconds at the moment. And a very, very impressive debut for the number 33 car, the 16 year old from Wellington, out of carts, done a lot of work with simulation to get prepared. So he's hooked up, dialed up for this particular track and that preparation and planning has worked to perfection because it's led to a great performance. Win and race one, clean them up by nine seconds under the safety flag, under the, the checker flag and safety car for race two. Flames coming out of the rear of Andrew Jackson as he lets it late and hard under brakes in the Sovereign RX-8. But it's been a very nice performance by this young kid and great for the class that a young driver coming through the Mazda Racing Series and a pathway to the future for another young, talented New Zealand racing teenager. So that's number 33, Ben Stewart, out of Wellington. And it's three in a row as he takes the checkered flag to wrap up the perfect weekend at Highlands Motorsport Park. Matt Horn comes home for another strong performance in second. Andrew Jackson's going to hold on for third. Rex Edwards will get up for fourth, followed by Leo Bolt, busts his way out of second back to third, but stops Simon Baker from progressing. That battle going all the way to the chicken flag. Gaines, Dodd, Price, South Island boys wrapping up the top ten. Great to see Dallin finish this one after that earlier tangle we saw in race two. The Torx engineering car coming across the line in tenth, ninth position. So we'll look forward to go racing again with the next entire Mazda Racing Series as we wrap up the weekend. The perfect start for Ben Stewart. What a way to go motor racing in Highlands. Three in a row, number 33. Matt Horn second and Andrew Jackson. Very exciting race and wrapping up a place on the podium, followed by Edwards, Bolt, Baker, Gaines, Dodd, Price and Spatz. That's your top 10, and good to see an RX-7 making the top 10 there, alongside all the RX-8s. And we head now to Ruapuna, for round two of the Nationals. I'm sure we'll be treated to some more close racing at Ruapuna next weekend. Uh, a couple of the guys with a bit of work to do between now and then, not much time to do it, but I'm sure we'll see another strong showing from the next entire Mazda Racing Series cars. And what are your plans? You're going to uh, go to a RX-8 at some stage in the future, Toby Marsh? Yeah, hey, look, there's always a couple of lease cars available within the class. So I yeah, would like to try my hand at it. have had a skid in the early days of the RX-8 class and thoroughly enjoyed it. Definitely a big uh, step up coming from the RX-7. Uh, no power steering for those boys. Um, and, uh, yeah, all a bit more refined in the RX-8 these days. So plenty of highlights. This was the battle coming out of the hairpin and great showdown between Leo Bolt and Simon Baker looking for racing room and one door opens and Leo Bolt shuts it. Jackson whipped up to second. Edwards got up in front of Baker so they had a good little bit of getting the elbows out as you'd say. <laughs> yeah, Rubbins racing as some people would say and uh, yeah. And if you wanted to lease one of these RX-8s and go racing what would it cost you for the year or cost you say for a round? 